So I'm going to continue on with week three on the same file. So I hope you still have it open. And uh, I just want to point out that we have an index.html and we also have a howto.html. I'm sure you've assumed that the reason I have two HTML files, one named index, that's going to be the start page of this website. And the second page will be how to use your kettlebell. And that will link from the first page. So what I'm going to do is show you how to create those links. If you watch the slideshow, you'll already have a little idea of how to create those links. But let's see, I'll put it after the image. I think that makes sense. And uh, the link tag is the A tag, as you may remember from the slideshow. So actually, yeah, there you go. And then the first link that we will have in our navigation, so I'm, I'm putting a nav navigation uh, bar at the top of the page underneath the image. So I'll have the first link say home and then we're going to close that. And then my next link, I'll skip a couple spaces. Next link will be called how to. So again the a tag and how to and close the a tag. So in between these two links, I will put a pipe symbol, which is a straight line that is right above your return. So it's shift uh, click on the key that is right above your return key. So there's a space on either side of it just to format it nicely. And let's see what this looks like. I'll do a save. I'll take a peek at it in the browser. And there it is. So you can see my text is here, but there's a couple things going on. Notice that it's on the same line as the image. That's because the image and this, these, uh, the A tag, the link tag, those are both inline elements. And an inline element does not have a natural line return built into it. So I'm going to create that. I'll create a break tag something that really needs to be here. You, you wouldn't want those on the same line. Maybe you would, but we're not going to do it today. And then do a save and a refresh. And there it is. Our navigation is now below the image. But it's there, but these are not live links. That's because we haven't added the attributes to the A tag that we really need. So my home page is actually named index.html. So I'm going to put a, an attribute on my a tag that is a hypertext reference. So that's href equals. And then I will click right here and let Visual Studio Code do that for me. Index.html. This is a relative link. It is not an absolute link because it doesn't have a lot of paths in it. These two files live right next door to each other. So they don't need any path explained. Now I'm going to link the how to uh, href equals quote, oops, href equals quote. And here I want to link the how to dot html document. So for visual clarity, I'm putting a little space between these. These are my link tags. Let me do a save and a refresh so you can see what that looks like. There they are. I've got my home. If I click on it, it goes nowhere. I've got my how to, and you can see that goes to my how to page. So I'll get back there by using my back button, but what I'd like is to have the same navigation up here. That's just very easy to take care of. I'm going to go to my index.html. That's this one. I'm going to copy this plus the break tag, copy, go over to my how to page and paste. In the next video, we'll look at the target. So if you want to review the slides so we can put in the targets, you might want to review that first. All right, onward.